Okay, now we're back. And I guess that means we are going to go back into the little hole here. Wait a second. Is there any other entrance to this place? It doesn't look like it. It's just kind of like a random freaking empty space with wires and shit. What? What do you need, Jensen? Because this is going to take some time. Never mind. Okay. I'm going I'm going down into the maintenance vent thingy here. Uh Yeah, there's wires and shit. You know what? You know whatever. If they wanted to have their top secret facility place have like the shittiest wire management ever, then go for it, you know? Who am I to judge them? I'm just gonna continue on and do whatever. And hello, convenient door that I used before. Alright, let's get out of here. Boop. I'm gonna go visit the guy who was just fishing like not even five minutes ago. Hello, person! How's it going? Are you Quinn? Well, if it ain't the bloody Grim Reaper himself. What are you talking about? Christ almighty, lad. You got half the garrison shedding themselves and afraid you got on patrol. Look, I don't want no trouble. You hear? The commander said to help you. That's what I'll do. Just, just don't kill me, all right? I got children. Eat them. Well, I, look, I, I don't really have yet, but... Uh, all right, all right, I, I don't really have any. Just, just don't <laughs> fucking shoot me. <laughs> I won't shoot you. I didn't plan on shooting you. No. It's how I operate. A dead hostile is one less potential variable to deal with down the line. But you don't seem like a threat to me. Fucking hey man, is that supposed to be comforting? Yeah. Look, Keitner said you can help me. Can you? Yeah. She told me to be expecting you. I'm just glad you came as soon as you did instead of going off on your own. There's enough kegs of powder lying around here already without throwing another loose cannon in the mix. You know how much we're risking to keep you off the radar? We've only got so much pull around here. It's Burke's show, and he'll do as he bloody well pleases, which means stamping out any rats the moment he gets wind of them. I'm grateful, but can we get on with it? I understand you run a nice little sideline in procurement. Aye. From time to time you might say being inclined to do a little, uh, how should we call it? Bartering. On the side. Since the commander signed off on it, I suppose I could open my stock to you. For a price, that is. You mean I have to pay? What? Of course you have to bloody well pay. I ain't exactly a fucking army quartermaster down here. I'm just a civvy contractor trying to make ends meet. This ain't a bleeding charity. Considering the circumstances... Circumstances? But that you're a fugitive, and I'm risking my neck just talking to you. What are you trying to pull here? Oh my god, oh, I'm going to fuck your day I up. I suppose you had anything to do with this stasis pod that was saved back on the ship. How do you know about that? Ah, so it was you, eh? Well, let's just say I have me sources and your little random act of kindness didn't go unnoticed. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount on me wares. Just no freebies or handouts. But now that I think of it, if you're looking for a little something for nothing and don't mind a little legwork, I've got an errand that could use running. Consider it a special offer of sorts. You interested? Yeah, sure. Let me just, uh, don't mind me a piece. It's obvious you're not a bell tower sympathizer. So if there's anything more you can do to increase my odds of getting off this base alive, I'd appreciate it. Because I like you and, uh, because seeing you get your arse killed or captured put a damper on me day, I'll open a special stock to you. It's normally reserved for another, uh, client, but as long as you're paying. Okay, uh, about this special offer. All right, tell me about this special offer. Look, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but this base is packing some serious heat. Especially in the form of those walking brick shithouse boxcars. If you get me a few odds and ends, I might be able to whip up a little something to make getting around easier, if you catch my meaning. What kind of something are we talking about here? Nothing fancy. Just a 329 series NPRS. A rocket launcher? <laughs> That's right. Wow. Man. And custom built. But yours truly, of course. You see... Well, I might be able to get my fingers on some low-level arms. I'm a little restricted when it comes to military-grade bells and whistles. And I'm itching to try out a new trigger propulsion mix. Maybe even recalibrate the guidance system for some extra punch. Sounds perfect. I like the sound of this. Uh, while you... While I find your enthusiasm for explosives disturbing... Lol? I 
I like the sound of this. Fuck it, right? You like the sound of this? It's the bollocks. Look, all you gotta do is find me some components. I'll do the rest. An earlier boat had a shipment of 329s, but I wasn't able to poach any of them before they made it to the armory. Luckily, little Sparrow and my employee managed to lose one through maintenance circulation, but he got himself shit canned before I could collect. Now my little butte's lying around the base somewhere in bloody pieces. The launcher, I mean, not the wee man. Though, I have no idea what really happened to him. Right, so, long story short, you need me to find the parts and bring them back to you. Yeah, that about sums it up, I'd say. Just find me the trigger module, scope assembly, and launch a barrel, and we're in business. I could scrape up the rest from leftovers here in the shop. I think I already found one. Hey, let me see what you got there. That's the 329 scope assembly. Let me know when you find the other two. Okay, alright. Um... Um... Uh, more info... What do you exactly do you hear? No, no, no. What exactly do you do here, Quinn? Besides going fucking fish. What exactly do you do here, Quinn? In a more civilized world, you might say I pass for the basis lead maintenance engineer. But if you look at it from Baltar's point of view, I might as well just be a glorified janitor. Pay's good though, so you know, not complaining. If the pay's good, why the underground market? Well, why not? You see, civilian contractors operate under different jurisdiction when it comes to bringing outside goods into the base. So while the rank and file grunts can only order and receive essentials, toothpaste and the like, I, being the entrepreneurial chap that I am, offer them a more uh, robust catalogue of goods and services. You know the sort. Smokes, beverages, and uh, gentlemen's literature. How does this involve weapons? Now, no, no, let wow. me finish. As an enterprising fellow, I require an exchange of valuables for these slightly less than essential supplies, and often receive some very non-civilian contractor regulated equipment in exchange, if you catch me drift. Now, normally, I launder my stock through a contact on the mainland, but a deal in Shanghai recently fell through, so lucky for you, I've got some excess inventory to move. Consider this whole arrangement uh, a matter of mm, fortunate timing. And Keitner is okay with all of this? Uh, not exactly. You see, some time ago, the commander got wind of my little operation down here. But before she could throw me in the brig, I offered her something I knew she couldn't refuse. Information. I ain't bragging, but... Uh, I'd managed to build myself quite a little network of sparrows and gophers. I'd known for a while that she'd been at odds with that prick Burke. In the end, we reached a rather simple mutual agreement. I keep her in the loop, and she keeps my neck out of the noose, so to speak. Okay, uh, what can you tell me about this base? What can you tell me about this base? Nothing you don't know, probably. To the outside world, it's a Beltar Naval Logistics Headquarters and Supply Point for their Pacific operations. Beneath the surface, though, it's much much more. How so? Look, nothing personal yet, but I prefer the commander to most of the informing. As far as I'm concerned, the less I know, and more importantly, the less I say in this matter, the better off we all are. Okay, what do you think of Keitner? Tell me about the commander. Keitner. Lieutenant oh, Commander, Keitner. officially. But the grunts don't pay no mind to that. She's the commander as far as they're concerned. It's the Reds who stick to the formalities, you see. Because they're Burke's boys. The Spooks. Special operations. You might say there's a bit of a division of loyalty among the troops. Between Keitner's men and Burke's? Aye. Since time immortal has always been a rivalry of sorts between grunts and spooks. I always assumed it came down to ego. But it's different here. Probably because Burke's different. What do you mean? Well, for a start, the man might be a righteous prick, but he's got the respect of his men. And the higher-ups think he's a visionary based on some fancy tank he drummed up a few years back. In other words, the man's got a lot of influence, and a lot of power, and, uh, well, I don't think that old proverb needs repeating here. Okay, right, well, let me go into the shop, finally. What are you buying? Okay, I only have 4,000 credits, though, so this is kind of gonna be a little weird. Oh, hey, look, it even actively shows a discount. Okay, give me a second. Alright, now I could go ahead and buy... Oh, Praxis Kit. Oh... I would love that. Also beer. And all these other things. However, since we don't have any of that, I think I'm just gonna buy ammo for my pistol! Yay! Ah. Let me see if I can sell anything. Uh, what don't I want? I don't want this heavy rifle, really. Honestly, because it's just- It's a giant big gun! I don't need it. However, I can sell the ammo for it. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, what else do we have? Beer. Beer, beer. 
<laughs> okay. Now give me this pistol ammo, bitch. And combat rifle ammo. Do I really need it? Shotgun cartridges would be nice. Okay. Combat rifle ammo. And practice kit. Satisfaction guaranteed. Unless, of course, you fuck it up yourself. Okay. Well, awesome. My only issue is that there's a lot of stuff behind him that I wish I could grab. However, it doesn't seem as if there's any way into there. Come on, man. You know you want to let me into your room. I see a Praxis kit behind you. I think that's a Praxis kit. Speaking of Praxis, what do we got? Two points. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to put this in. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's get out of here. Elevator! Hooray! Unfortunately, this goes really, really slow, so... It's not really as epic when you do that. Away, elevator! And it just slowly goes up. By the way, why the fuck is that moving? Like, okay, here we are standing still, and... I guess there's, I guess there's an open chamber? Yeah, okay. Alright, that's why it's moving, because... For some reason, this elevator shaft is exposed to the fucking elements outside? That's weird, but... Okay. So, now we have to go back to that security checkpoint that we were at earlier and see what we can do there. Since we did already kill everybody here, I'm not exactly worried about anything else. Right? Yeah, okay. Alright, I'm not worried about anything else. We're just gonna get the hell out of here. Unless I see a room that I haven't been in. Have I been in that room? Yes, I have been in that room. Okay. Well, don't, don't mind me. Hey, didn't reload. Cool! Hello, biometric scan! My name is Alan. Activating security scan. Here's hoping that she kept her end of the bargain. I'm sure she would have by now. Or she's just a slow bitch, because I've been walking around doing stuff. Biometric data assembled. Okay, so what do you guys what do you got to say? Mr. Computer Lady? Mr. Mrs. Computer Lady. Subject recognized. Yay! Access granted. Aw, uh, yeah. I got this shit. Okay. Uh-oh. I see people. I should have grabbed a silencer. Fuck. You've been detained for conspiring to commit a terrorist act. After processing, you will undergo a preliminary medical examination. At that point, I'm sure you will have the opportunity to raise your concerns. A terrorist? No! No! They just trap me out of the street. You've got the wrong person! <laughs> You're a terrorist. We will determine if you are the right or wrong person. If you cooperate, things will go smoothly. If not, you will be made to cooperate. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Oh, what? Terrorists! <laughs> oh. Fuck, they heard that. No, no, I don't want to deal with robots. Where are the robots, actually? Oh, they're up there. Okay, cool. You just do this. Sneak, 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 sneak. Oh, there's a vent there. All right, cool. Someone, no one. Gotcha, bitch. Okay, okay. So apparently the robots know exactly where I am now, which kind of sucks because uh, fuck life, you know. Right, right. Bullets aiming. What the fuck am I doing? Killing people. That's what I'm doing. Now, is there a third person? Yes, there is. What are you doing up there, bro? You're supposed to be helping your guys out here, and you're not. There you go. And now you're dead. Ooh, pocket secretary. Uh, username. You need access to the tower computer. Ha-ha! These robots are mine. Oh, no. What? Really? Fuck. Fine.
No, 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 no. I want the alarm to turn off. Jesus. Okay. What does this button do? Oh! Keitner, Jensen. I'm in your detention camp and uploading to the security mainframe now. Copy that. Any problems? Nothing I couldn't get rid of. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that later. Right now, you need to get inside the interrogation wing and find out what Burke is hiding. Contact me when you know. Keitner out. Oh, shit. Okay, all right. Well, I'm gonna go down here, see if there's anything I could possibly have missed. Like credit, credits. Wow, a thousand fucking credits just chilling at the bottom of a staircase, or a staircase ladder. Did you know what I would do if I found a thousand dollars in real life? Cause I don't. I, I I really I wouldn't know what the fuck to do. I'd be like, oh, a thousand dollars, um, 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 and then I like I'd weigh the decisions of morality and then I'd keep it. Maybe I don't know. There. Put the weapon down. What are you gonna do with me? Please, don't send me back to the doctors. I don't want them to test me anymore. I just want to go home. But don't you like being stripped naked and tested? Water. Okay. I love how she's the only one on the side. Hello? Oh. Well, his cell isn't so bad. Please, tell me what's going on back there in the examination area. They took Leanne back there two days ago, but she hasn't come back. What's up with all the women? I'm noticing a pattern here. What about the dudes? There's got to be a dude somewhere. You have no right. Oh, right I hear him. He's on the top floor. Don't worry, buddy. I'm coming for you. Okay. Now, here's what I've got to do. I have to blow up that robot. That didn't work out as well as intended. Uh, hmm. Seriously? WTF, robot. I can't even access that part. What am I doing? I'm leaving. Okay. Uh, ooh, there's a staircase. There we go. Go up the staircase, run around the corner, be like, hey, what's up, robot? And then worry about our lives because I don't know how many get past these guys without shooting the shit out of them. Okay. Note to self. They are robots. So they will be very susceptible to forms of box hidingness. Yes. Oh. Oh. You use the cells to hide. Oh. <laughs> you heard nothing, robot. Peekaboo. You know, there seems to be a dilemma here for you, Mr. Robot. It appears as if you're not hitting anything. <laughs> wow, this guy can take a lot of damage. These are point blank shotgun blasts. Now watch this guy die to a single grenade. See? Ow. Well, it's a good thing I bought some shotguns. Okay. You're safe. Friends have already had their fun, so now you want a piece. I, I, what are you talking about? Go ahead, get it over with. As long as you don't send me back to those doctors. Oh, I'm leaving. Bye. Ooh, terminal. Ooh, don't care. Ha ha! I'm a laser grid door. Too bad you can jump over me. <laughs> Okay, well, now that we've killed everyone here, you guys can, I don't know, suffer in your cells. I'd help you, but I really don't know how. Okay. I'm an innocent man. Are you? Are you sure? Hey, you don't belong here. Jesus. How'd you get out of your cell? Uh, I was never in a cell, because you see, I don't get butt raped. Get away. Just get out of here. 
get out and tell someone. Well, at least he's reasonable. I mean, except for the fact that I totally could get every single one of you out of here. But that's not my goal, unfortunately. My goal is to completely fuck over someone. Not you guys. You guys are already pretty fucked over. Uh, this is just a really unneeded thing after the first time. After the first couple times. The first one tells you, oh, they sensed me. The second one tells you, oh, I can get through the checkpoint. Then after that, you don't really need it anymore. It's just kind of like a, a fucking one minute stop while it sits here and beep sets you. Subject recognized. Boop! Access Boop. granted. Boop! Alright. Well, at least we got through it. Ooh. Anyone down here? Ooh, there's a body. Oh, there's a person. They're dead. Oh, there's an alive person. Yeah, they can. Oh, I can talk to her. Fantastic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll stay quiet. I promise. Just don't hurt me anymore. Uh, Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. What Jensen said. One of them? One of the scientists? Please. You've got to get me out of here. You've got to do something before they come back. I don't want to disappear like all the others. Hmm. Okay. You said they were coming back. Who is Burke behind this? Hold on. You said they were coming back? Who? Burke? Is he behind this? I... I'm not sure. He comes around, but not that often. I know he gives the orders around here, but he doesn't seem all that interested in us beyond some psych tests and questioning. He mostly leaves us to the doctors or scientists or whatever they are. Tell me about these scientists. Is one of them a woman named Reed? I don't know. I mean, there is a woman, but her name is Kavanaugh, not Reed. I heard the guard call her that. She's... She seems different. Like, she doesn't like what they're doing to us. I can't help but think she's being forced to do these things. The others just treat us like animals. It's horrible. I just want to go home. Okay, what about this area? I want to help you, but you've got to stay calm. Now, what did you mean by disappear like the others? What's been going on back here? I don't know much. I've heard rumors and seen some things, and I know what they've done to me. Biopsies, blood samples, tissue cores, like I'm some sort of lab rat. Is that why you're back here? Separated from the others? This is where they, they study and examine us to see if we're compatible or something. I don't know what they want from us. Sometimes we're sent back to the cells. Those that aren't. Some of the others think they let them go, but I think they're being sent somewhere else. Another facility, maybe. Somewhere else inside this one. Why? What makes you think that? Because of the way they talk when they're with us. It's like they're looking for some kind of perfect gene match or something. I. Not a doctor. I don't understand it. I just don't want them touching me anymore. Yeah, I'd be ashamed if they touched you. What's your story? It's okay. What's your name? Nina. Nina Sullivan. Nina Sullivan. I don't know why they're All right. me in here. They just grabbed me off the street. I heard Cape Town was dangerous, but I thought with all the security around. Cape Town? South Africa? Isn't that where we are? I, I blacked out. They drugged me, I think. I was on vacation in Cape Town at the end of the summer. I was going to be starting senior year in the fall, and I wanted to have an adventure. My parents must be so worried. Wait, are you a college senior or a high school senior? Hmm. No, I've never done anything wrong. Never demonstrated against anything or anything. But... Neither have most of the girls here. I, I'm not sure about the men, but... Hey, that's sexist. I'm sure some of these men haven't done anything either. Gosh. Well, I'm just gonna leave you here. I know this is gonna seem cruel, but... I can't help you right now. You're going to leave me here? You can't! You have no... Actually, I can, and I will! Please! I 
can't have you tagging along just yet, or walking the halls alerting the guards. Trust me, when I can get you out, I will. But your best bet is to stay put. Oh, I'll alert them anyway. Burke and the two doctors were just here heading for the morgue. I'll tell them you're here. I will. Let me out or I'll tell them, I swear. And then what? Do you really think they'll let you go? I'm still the best chance you've got, but you have to be patient. You know, threatening me was probably the worst thing you could have ever have done. I'm not coming to help you. I don't want to help you anymore. Well, let's read the medical log. She's 20. Okay, so she's not in high school anymore. She's a co she's a college senior. Okay, gotcha. Uh, she was born in 2007. Wow, probably a few years ago. Um, no augmentations, no pre-existing things. Suggest continuing protocol status, awaiting transfer to lab. Ooh, you're going on a little trip, lady. Ooh, what is this? Clinical trial log 11 slash 27. Attending Dr. Tiffany Kavanagh, Dr. Gary Savage, the serving commander Petersburg. Patients. Hey, computers. Been sedated and restrained. Administering compound P 026, 1.75 cc's. Injection via the left suboccipital triangle, isolating the neocerebellum and pontine nuclei. Well done, doctors. Appears that the spinal cranial replacement was successful. She's been stable for 48 hours. Placing the upper column and posterior skull is more complex than your own hindbrain augmentation, Commander Burke. But it's well within our abilities. That's not our sticking point. I'm quite aware of what your sticking point is, doctor. Getting results that I can use. Ooh. Gary, she's waking up. Look at the that was a sick They're burn, yo. Blood pressure and heart rate. Oh, nope, she's dying. Saturation is really low. Savage, get this under control. Tiff, increase sedation and disconnect the OCM interface. Get a dose of propofol ready. See if she stabilizes. No, she's not. She's just gonna dead. Gary, damn it! There's a rupture in the circle of Willis. Anterior cerebral artery. Shit, shit! I've got to get in there. It's already too late, Tiff. Still alive? No. Now we've lost her. I don't understand. She burned out so quickly. Arterial degeneration was clearly more advanced than anticipated, but still, the new compound should have worked. Dispose of the body. I'll have the next viable candidate prepared and sent down to you, Dr. Kavanaugh. Last <laughs> Okay, so Burke is not really a caring individual. You know, I kind of wish that I was super proficient with words and, and anatomy and stuff, so I could be all like, "Oh, they're cutting into they're they're cutting into the arterial vein." I see. Mm, yes, they shouldn't do that. That that seems to be the problem right there. No, I, I can't do that. So instead, I just kind of do the typical gamer thing, where it's like, "Oh, words, words being said." Yes. Hmm. Cool. And then the person dies. Th that, that's basically all I need to figure out. Uh-oh. So what did these ones die of, Savage? A complete neurological breakdown from the looks of it. Organ collapse, nerve degradation. Find him. There's been some trouble on the base. My man will take care of it. You were saying? We may be looking at serious cross-systemic failure issues with the OCM. It's those god-awful implants, Gary. The whole inhumane procedure. After a while, it just burns them out. Has this been happening at the other sites? We've experienced some die-off, yes. But I've been told Dr. Reed's research may offer a breakthrough. If we could bring her back here... That's not going to happen. Then we need to start considering other options. A nanotech-based solution performed on willing volunteers. <laughs> willing. And are you volunteering yourself, Doctor? Tiffany, please. I need to look at the raw data, Commander. If you would. I can't wait to shoot that guy. He seems like a dick. I turned a blind eye to your little office romance, Savage. But if she becomes a problem, she will be volunteering.
Okay, bye, I guess. Keitner, I found out what Burke's been concealing. The interrogation wing is some kind of medical testing facility. He's using the prisoners as lab rats. For what? Not sure. I'll need Burke's retinal scan data to find out. I can't download that without setting off a million alarms. However, Burke's eyes are enhanced, Jensen. He uses special retinal prostheses custom made for him by the Tai Young Medical Corporation. You want me to remove Burke's eyes? Not the ones he's currently using. He just received a new set this evening for when the cargo ship docked. With any luck, you'll find it in his office. Keitner out. Ah, his office. I completely forgot about that. She gave me the code and everything. I thought the office was going to be, like, further in. But I guess not. Ooh, hey. Totally didn't realize that there were rooms up here that I could investigate. I just was kind of busy looking down into the glowing red rooms. They walked away from the recording device while it was on. Isn't that really? I don't, I don't know what that is. But we're going to go through the biometric scanner again. Activating security scan. Ugh. I'm surprised it doesn't like scan my weapons and go, wow, you have five guns on you. That's way more than a security guard should have ever in existence. But hey, whatever. I just kind of chill out, go through this checkpoint, and, um, I don't know, I guess to investigate Burke's room, since I have the code. Subject recognized. Access granted. You'd think you'd insert the new eyes you got, like, as soon as possible, but, hey, if he doesn't want to do that, I'm cool with it, whatever. Oh, man, it would be so easy to just jump straight down. Hmm. But, I can't do that. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to. Oh, hey! Look, there's stuff over there! Oh. Oh. There we go! Oh, yeah! Praxis kit, baby! Alright. Now, maybe the glass can- Yes! The glass can break! Oh, that was close! Holy Jesus! Hello there. Oh, I forgot to grab the combat rifle I'm off you. Well, I fixed that issue. Oh, God, man, that hurts. Howdy. No, not again. What more do they want from me, please? I've answered all their 